Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. Uh, storm number one continues to run through today across parts of the west. So if you have only had a little bit of snow yet, you probably are going to get more as the storm comes through. The temperatures will drop. It's all part of a three storm cycle. Nothing has changed as far as that goes. Basically, 17 through 115. Um, with feet of accumulation pretty much over all major mountain ranges as it looks at this point. Now storm number three, and like I've been saying the last couple of days, is really the most interesting. It's probably the biggest of the three with the most snow potential, most jet support, highest snow ratios, and highest snow generation because of Arctic air that's going to be involved. And there's probably going to be an Arctic surge uh, across a lot of the Intermountain West with that. Utah, you've got snow today. Again, on 19, 110, and 112 through 114. That 112 to 114 burst or storm system is going to be the biggest. And that's going to be the case for a lot of places. It's going to have the biggest punch. California snow, 19 through 110, and 112 through 113. That 112 to 113 storm is going to be your biggest. In the Northeast, you're going to benefit from all these. You've got snow today. You've got a storm 19, 110 with snow over to rain and high winds and then a potentially heavy snow coming late in the period as well. All right, let me take you over to uh, water vapor and show you what things look like this morning. All right, so we're all loaded up. Here's our big storm system cruising down through the Intermountain West. This is the pattern changing low. This is the one that uh, ended, the, <laughs> ended the, uh, the long vacation across the West. Brought the snow and cold back. Big number two. Big number two right here. That's the one that will dive in right behind it. And that will also bring cold air and its own load of snow. And then there's a third, third storm system behind this one. That's the one that will bring down a little chunk of Arctic air. And that'll rotate down from the polar vortex into the lower 48. All right, guys, here is forecast radar satellite by this afternoon. Snow continues, Tetons, parts of Montana, Idaho, uh, the Wasatch, and in parts of uh, Colorado and New Mexico. Here we are on 1-8 tomorrow morning, storm moving out of Colorado, New Mexico. Here comes storm number two up in the Pacific Northwest. You can see it dropping down out of the Pacific Northwest into the lower 48. And uh, there it is by 1-10 late in the day. You've got snow down through Shasta, Tahoe, heading towards Mammoth. And that whole thing will rotate through Utah and Colorado by the time we get into 1-11. Again, that's storm number two. Now, you can see in the Pacific Northwest the next batch. Here comes storm number three. See the elongation? That's the Arctic front associated with the storm system. So that one comes in 112, 13, 14. Brings colder air, a lot of jet support, and high snow ratios. So let me show you how this looks on the jet. It'll help to really illustrate things. So by 1-8, storm number one is departing Colorado and New Mexico. You can already see the dip and the trough developing out of Canada and the Gulf of Alaska, North Pacific right there. That's storm number two. All right, so here we are at uh, 110, and you can see the broad trough, lots of cold air spilling down across the lower 48. That's, again, Storm 2 and Storm 3. Look at the powerful jet running right up against the Sierra. We're going to generate a lot of snow with this, and that transport directly into the Wasatch, Tetons, Idaho, and Colorado. This will be a big period. Again, that Storm number 3 is going to be the big one. Here's what the forecast radar and a satellite look like on 113 with that. You can see all that snow through the Sierra running directly into um, Idaho and Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. One more for you here. This is the end of it on 115 as the low pulls out of Colorado. But big totals in parts of Colorado as a result of this and northern New Mexico. So the grand total map today, 170 through 116, looks just as impressive as it ever did. You can see the big numbers up to 50 inches for Alta Snowbird between today and 116. Um, two to three feet for the Tetons. Two to three feet in Colorado with potentially more over Wolf Creek. That'll be a big one down there. Um, so look at the, uh, the Sierra looking at uh, two to four feet there. Uh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 inches through Oregon and Washington State. Big snow on Idaho and northwest Montana. So not much has changed there. You break it down by period. So today into tomorrow, another couple over the Tetons, four to five. <clears throat> additional into the, uh, the Wasatch and quite a bit western and southwest Colorado 
with the end of this uh, storm number one. Here's 19 through 111. You can see the big numbers across the northern tier. That's all part of that uh, storm number two dropping down through the Intermountain West and another foot or more across parts of a little and big Cottonwood Canyon, six to nine, six to ten across Colorado. That'll be a big period. And again, when you see the purple magenta, that's a foot or more of accumulation. The final period, again, with storm number three, is the biggest. It's got the most cold air, a lot of jet support and transport up against uh, a lot of these mountain ranges. You can see, I mean, we're just talking widespread one, two, three feet of snow for uh, California, Utah, and Wyoming, and Colorado as well. So that's going to be a big one. We'll go to the northeast, and again, you've got snow happening today. Potentially some on 1-9 before it changes over to rain, rain, snow, and then a big snow potentially at the end of the period, which probably accounts for most of what you see there. Again, that's 1-7 through 1-16. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.